There are multiple ways to calculate GDP, the measurement of a country's total economic output. Theoretically, every method used to calculate GDP should produce the same result because the underlying economic factor should be the same. The main methods for calculating GDP are the expenditure approach and the income approach. A third, but less common method is the value-added approach, which is also known as the production approach. The expenditure approach sums up the total value of all final goods and services produced, and the income approach adds up all the income earned in the economy. All three approaches should, in theory, add up to the same GDP because they are all measuring money flowing through the same economy. However, in practice, these measures may vary. There are all notably complex measures because of the methods by which they aggregate so many different sectors and types of economic activity. Therefore, it can be useful to compare the figures resulting from the three approaches, and large disparities between them can act as signs of errors or omissions in the data gathering process. GDP is a measure of economic activity only. Other markers of the health of an economy, such as income inequality, productivity, and other factors are excluded from the calculations. GDP is a measure of economic activity over a set period. A unit of time may be chosen. This is typically one year, but GDP can also be calculated at quarterly intervals. Once a designated time period is chosen, the calculation of GDP is then based on data gathered from the private and public sectors during that time. GDP can then provide a snapshot of the economic activity in that specific time period. GDP is one of the most important measures of national economies. After adjusting for inflation, rates of change in real GDP can be calculated for comparison across periods and between countries. GDP can also be used to assess a business cycle, which is an interval of expansion and contraction in the economy. Additionally, GDP can be helpful in analyzing the effects of historical events, such as the Great Depression or World War II, on the economy. For example, GDP declined sharply during the Great Depression following the stock market crash in 1929. A decade passed before GDP reached pre-crash levels. In contrast, GDP spiked with the beginning of World War II and peaked at the end of the war.